In the world of work today, there are two major sources of value. The first is time, and the second is knowledge. In our modern business landscape, time has become the new currency. The most critical measure of time is not the mere counting of hours, but instead, it's about duration or speed. The most important quality you can cultivate in relation to time is developing a sense of urgency. This means having the habit of taking swift action whenever an opportunity presents itself. A bias for action and maintaining a rapid tempo is vital to your success. Successful people are not only hard workers, but they also work quickly. In today's fast-paced environment, everyone must remain focused on reducing the amount of time it takes to achieve the same results. Customers are willing to pay a premium for anyone who can expedite the delivery of the products and services they desire. People are more likely to choose and pay more for someone who can satisfy their needs faster. When managing your time and determining your day-to-day -day tasks, your focus should be on results, not activities. Inevitably, you will always have an overwhelming list of tasks to accomplish in seemingly too little time to do them all. It's said the average person has roughly 300 hours of projects waiting in the wings, encompassing books, magazines, newspapers, home tasks, work, and so much more. The harsh reality is you will never get completely caught up. A great secret in time management suggests that you only gain control of your life to the extent that you stop doing things. Yes, you heard it correctly, you need to stop doing things, but what should you stop doing? The best way to determine this is by using the 80-20 rule. If you compile a list of 10 tasks you need to accomplish each day, it's likely that two of those tasks will be more valuable than the other eight combined. In other words, the top 20% of your activities account for 80% of your results. So you have to ask yourself, what are the one or two things on this list that are more important than anything else considering all the tasks? If you had to leave town for a month and could only get one thing done today, what would that be? That becomes your number one priority. Over the years, the ability to set priorities has been crucial. I've written books on time management, trained hundreds of thousands of people in this field, and my audio and video programs on time management have been translated into multiple languages worldwide. Everything boils down to one thing, choosing your most important task right now, starting on it right now, and disciplining yourself to stick with it until it's completed. If you make the mistake of trying to clear up small things first, you'll discover that these small things multiply. Soon, you've spent your whole day doing little things. Sometimes people wonder how I can be so productive. How is it that I can write four books a year, deliver 100 talks, run three businesses, and volunteer all while traveling the world? The answer lies in my organizational system. I've been studying time management for 15 years now. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this subject, attending countless courses, reading a myriad of books, and listening to all the audio cassettes I could find. I've tried and tested every time planner ever made for time management. Through it all, I've realized that there's a core element in time and that's priorities. I genuinely believe that the ability to focus and concentrate are the two keys to success in life. The ability to pinpoint precisely what you want to accomplish and to concentrate single-mindedly on achieving that one thing without diversion or distraction are the keys to success. Use the 80-20 rule. Ask yourself which 20% of the tasks you have to do account for 80% of the value of your work. Then, always work on the top 20%. In life, there's never enough time to do everything, but there's always enough time to do the important things. Instead of doing what is fun and easy, which is what most people do, make a list of everything you need to do. Then, start from the top, not the bottom, and work on the most important tasks first. If you only ever work on the irrelevant things, at the end of the day, you won't have gotten anything substantial done. Successful people and peak performers concentrate on their top priorities. Remember, anything other than working on the top items on your list is a waste of your time. Time management is not just about managing hours, minutes, it's about managing your life. You can accomplish anything you desire if you manage your time properly. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and the true strength lies in the ability to concentrate, discipline yourself, harness willpower, and use perseverance to focus on one thing at a time. This power of concentration is a common quality in all successful individuals. Bear in mind, nothing great has ever been accomplished without the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on one thing at a time. Always focus on the best use of your time. There's probably no skill more closely correlated with success and achievement in every part of your life than the ability to manage your time well. It'll bring you to the attention of your superiors faster, help you get more done in a shorter period of time, make you feel better about yourself, lead to faster promotions, higher status, and greater pay. Moreover, time management is essential for your health as well. Not just your productivity, but you only feel good about yourself to the degree to which you feel you're in control of your time and your life. 
In fact, the major reason for stress in America is a feeling of being out of control, a feeling of having too much to do and too little time to do it in. So here's my favorite time management question, which I offer you for free before you start anything. Ask yourself, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? Make a list and ask, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? When you get into your car, when you leave the house or office, ask the same question. Repeat it over and over. Drive it into your subconscious mind as a command. Whenever you have a temptation to do something that is small and irrelevant, that command will prompt you, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? It will push you into doing what truly matters, guiding you to the most valuable use of your time. The most valuable use of your time makes you feel great. Concentrated effort is a source of energy and enthusiasm. It fills you with joy when you're working on something important and it leaves you feeling empty when you're engaged in irrelevant tasks. Procrastination is not just the thief of time, it's also the thief of life. To outperform your competition, both inside and outside your organization, you must develop a time management habit of moving quickly when action is needed. Strive to develop a reputation for speed and dependability. The wonderful advantage of cultivating a sense of urgency and a habit of acting swiftly is that the faster you move, the better you get. This is because the faster you move, the more experience you gain and the more you learn. The faster you move, the more confident you become. The faster you move, the more energy and enthusiasm you generate. People who habitually move quickly develop a distinct temperament and personality compared to those who move slowly or adopt a casual attitude toward their work. My friend Jim Rohn would say, casualness brings casualties. In simple terms, successful people are more productive than unsuccessful ones. Successful people have better habits. They dream bigger dreams. They work from written goals. They stay focused on what they need to accomplish. They pursue what they love to do and concentrate on improving at it. They maximize their natural abilities. They are constantly generating ideas to solve problems and achieve company goals. They concentrate on using every minute of their time to yield maximum results. They develop a sense of urgency. This quality is possessed by only 2% of the population, the same 2% that does things fast and has a bias for action. In Tom Peters' amazing book, In Search of Excellence, he asserts that all excellent companies have a bias for action. On the other hand, companies that don't fall into the category of excellence tend to do things when they can get around to it. There are times when you call a company with a complaint or issue only to hear back from them three or four weeks later. However, excellent companies differ. If you call them with a problem, there's someone back to you in just two minutes. Want an example? Try calling Hewlett Packard. State your problem or your need for certain information. They won't let you off the phone until they've taken care of you. But then there are those other companies, you call them and they will say it's not their job to address your concern or the person responsible isn't available. You're asked if you can leave a message but they don't even have a pencil at hand. And they wonder why they're struggling. Interestingly, it's a known fact that 20% of companies make 80% of the profits in any industry. This is why it's crucial to develop a sense of urgency. Get the reputation as the person who does things fast. Develop a reputation for speed and dependability and your future will just open up in front of you. Visualize you're a business owner and you have two employees. Both are reasonably talented and performing quite well. However, one person operates with a sense of urgency, tackling tasks immediately, much like a football player catching a fumble and running for the goal line. The other person, on the other hand, postpones work maybe till after lunch or possibly till next Monday. There's no rush for them, even if the week is almost over. Ask yourself, as the business owner, who would you assign additional responsibilities to? Who would you promote? Who deserves your investment and training? Who would you send to places where you need help? The answer is always the person with a sense of urgency. Speaking from experience, having a sense of urgency has been worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to me as a consultant. There have been times when I've saved my clients millions by acting promptly on an assigned project. Even a day's delay could have cost a fortune. So develop the habit of working fast. Look for opportunities with a sense of urgency. Act now. Do it now. Embrace the mantra, do it now. In sales, especially when someone calls you with a question, get back to them immediately. If someone has a problem, respond quickly. If someone needs something, move on it promptly. If it requires for going coffee breaks, lunch, or something else, then do it. Move fast. If you develop a reputation for speed, it will serve you well. It might take some time to get used to it, but it's a habit worth developing. Most people just sort of shuffle through life, attending to tasks at their own pace. However, all the excellent performers, all the high achievers have a sense of urgency. Now, I want to share four time management tips that will help improve your work-life balance. Remember, time management behaviors are very much a matter of choice. You choose to be efficient or disorganized. 
you choose to focus and concentrate on your high value tasks or you decide to spend your time on activities that contribute little to your life. You can choose to be positive or negative. You're always free to choose. The starting point of overcoming your previous programming and eliminating mental blocks to time management is to make a clear, unequivocal decision to become excellent at the way you use your time. You must decide right here and now that you are going to become an expert in time management. Your aim should be to manage your time so well that people look up to you and use you as a role model for their own work habits. There are four time management methods that you can use to program yourself for peak performance, thereby improving your work-life balance. The first one, positive self-talk or affirmations. These are commands that you pass from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind. These positive affirmations are statements that you say either out loud or silently to yourself with emotion and enthusiasm. These affirmations drive the words into your subconscious mind as new operating instructions. For better time management, you can continually repeat positive affirmations, such as I maintain a beautiful work-life balance or I concentrate easily on my high payoff tasks. My favorite time management affirmation is I use my time well, and I repeat this to myself over and over again. When you repeat these affirmations regularly, they are eventually accepted by your subconscious mind as part of your new programming. Consequently, your external behaviors start to reflect your internal programming, improving your work-life balance and quality of life. The second technique you can use to program your subconscious mind is through visualization mental pictures. These images immediately impact your subconscious mind in self-image psychology. The person you see is the person you will be. Through positive affirmations and clear mental pictures, you can start to perceive yourself as well-organized, efficient, and effective in time management. Recall and recreate memories and pictures of yourself when you were at your best, when you felt very efficient, effective, and in control. Reflect on a time when you were working effectively, efficiently, and getting through an enormous amount of work. Repeatedly play this picture of yourself on the screen of your subconscious mind until your subconscious mind accepts this as your reality. The third time management technique is simple. Sit or lie in a quiet place where you can be completely alone in silence. Through positive affirmations, imagine yourself going through an important upcoming experience such as a meeting, a presentation, a negotiation, or even a date that might improve the quality of your life. As you sit or lie completely relaxed, create a picture of the forthcoming event and see it unfolding perfectly in every respect like a movie in your mind. Visualize yourself as calm, positive, and in complete control. See the other people doing and saying exactly what you would want them to do if the situation was perfect. The fourth mental technique that can change the quality of your life through the experience of time management is to imagine that you have been selected for a role in a movie or stage play. In this role, you are to act the part of a person who is extremely well organized in every respect. As you go through your daily life, imagine you are an actor who is playing this part, who is already very good at time management. Act as if you are already using your time efficiently and well. Pretend that you are an expert in personal efficiency and time management. Fake it until you make it. When you pretend that you are excellent in time management, eventually the action, which is under your direct control, will develop a mindset or belief in your subconscious mind. In other words, you can act yourself into feeling and believing yourself to be excellent in time management.